guys. We're in uh, Syracuse, New York today, and uh, we're playing the Landmark Theater. It's a, uh, it's a great theater. Right now we're watching for traffic. Smart thing to do. We go backstage. This place is great. Super old. Built in the 1920s. Restored back in the 1970s. They're actually going to tear it down. But um, some of the local citizens got together, raised the money, and restored it. It cost millions of dollars back in the 1920s. Uh, so the restore was just astronomical, but it's beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful theaters that I've, I've seen in this play. So. So, uh, we'll start with the stage setup, which is pretty cool. Um, bring on in. Guys, Caleb, this is, uh, everybody knows Caleb. He's hard working today, way before any of us get up. Uh, but this is a landmark, this is stage, really old. Oh, hi there. You startled me. Hi, Leif. Hi. We got Peter. Peter's out with us again this weekend, working hard. Um, we played a theater uh, not too long ago, a couple months ago. It was out west. And they had uh, one of two functioning Westinghouse light consoles for the old 20s. And well, this is the other one. Uh, this is an amazing board. It's uh, Nowadays, it'd be astronomical to have, but uh, it's functioning so that this uh, is actually controls the, the lighting rig for the house. It's amazing, old quality. They just don't make stuff like that anymore. Now, uh, you can do all this on an iPhone. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go downstage in the catacombs of the theater. No, we're not. <laughs> we'll go the other way. Stuff's just, just killer stuff. Um, we're actually under the stage now. Um, back in the day, the stage rooms were built completely different than they are today. We just got locked in. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that just closed. Now, the curator of this place told me it was haunted. Now, of course, I don't believe in ghosts. However, it's a little weird. And it's a very heavy door, which really shouldn't have shut. This is a trap door. Uh, I mean, stages back in the day used this for, for different props and going up and out. Of course, all that stuff nowadays is on hydraulics. But um, this trap door above us is the stage, and, and you can, I don't know if it's coming through on the video, but you can hear everybody walking, so it's, it's pretty amazing. Um, Actually, right above where me and Leaf are is a the stage actually lower. We can we can see it now, but if you look, we've got these big diesel. It's like a diesel engine and drive axle that, that actually pulls the stage up and down. It's it's pretty it's pretty amazing. Just thick gears. Stuff really isn't made that way anymore, man. It's like back in the Detroit days. So Making great stuff. It's amazing. The original uh, intent of the theater was to kind of um, just have an escape for the people in the 20s. I mean, it, it was during the Depression. People were still trying to, you know, just uh, get back on their feet. And the, the point here was just, it used to be a, an original movie theater. And um, they, um, you know, it, it's really ornate. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful house. And, and the intent was that people could just come see a movie and no matter what, if they were rich or they were poor, they could just escape what was going on and, and pay their 25 cents for a movie. And, Escape at all. Uh, this is some sort of electrical room. Probably rats in here and whatnot. Or... So, this is a bit spooky. Uh, I also feel like I'm in prison. Like I should have a pistol or something. Like a James Bond movie. You know what I mean? Real manly kind of stuff. But uh, we're gonna head back towards the uh, under stage and 
backstage area, and then we'll go out to the lobby. You sent me back.